day three. <laughs> this is Pat Laurier, and <laughs> uh, I think the question we're supposed to ask or answer is what piece of advice would we give to uh, people who want to start cycling to work? The piece of advice I would give is always make sure you have proper safety gear on. You need to make sure you have a helmet. Uh, you've got a, a clip for, for your pants legs. Uh, I always wear safety goggles. And uh, you need to make sure that you give yourself a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going. So, I'm heading out to a seminar right now on homelessness. And uh, I will just keep the video camera on for the ride so you'll be able to experience with me the joys of Saskatoon streets. I also find that wearing biking gloves is helpful because it uh, helps to take off a little bit of the shock from the road. approaching the area where I was almost crunched by a semi yesterday. It's quite a challenge getting through this little detour. As you can see, there's lots of dirt on the road. Got a big truck behind me, but at least he's not as impatient as the one yesterday. And now I can pull over a little and get out of his way. Ooh, a cement truck. Not a great thing to have an encounter, close encounter. the road aren't all that pleasant. I'm approaching a four-way stop sign. It's really important that cyclists obey the rules, the traffic rules. Too many seem to think that all they have to do is be a vehicle when it suits them and then be a quasi-pedestrian when it makes it easier for them. Now I understand the whole argument about you get a certain speed up and you want to keep the impetus moving forward, but really you're not saving that much time or energy, if, and it's better, in my opinion, to obey the rules of the road. It's also really important to give lots of advance notice to motorists when you're going to be changing lanes or turning. Uh, I think the one thing they really don't like is quick, sudden, unexpected moves from anyone, other cars, pedestrians, or cyclists. Now we're on Avenue P, and uh, 
Oh, nice. They seem to have swept the uh, parking lane, which is what I use for uh, biking. That's a change from yesterday. Okay, stopping for a four-way stop and heading down 17th Street now. one of the few remaining dirt type roads in the West Industrial Area. Slowly but surely the city is paving everything here, but because of all the dust and everything that comes off the Parish and Heimbecker elevator, oh shoot, right through a patch of oil, uh, this is a pretty dirty road on the best times. I once wiped out crossing a railway, a set of railway tracks, and I find it always best to just angle your front wheels just slightly when you're going across them. Saves embarrassment and spills. Hi there. We're just past the site of the new St. Mary's uh, School in Saskatoon. It's going to be fantastic when it's finished. And now I'm heading down a little shortcut, a back alley. One of the uh, joys of cycling is that you can use a lot of shortcuts. Just be aware of the potholes. How are you? Sorry I'm late for this. I just finished the homeless seminar and I'm about to hop on the bike again and uh, ride uh, around Ward 2 and check out a few problem properties. Oh, the alley's blocked off here for a construction project so I'm going to have to head up 20th Street. Lots of people in this area, uh, Riversdale Pleasant Hill, use their bikes as their primary mode of transportation. So a uh, woman's just passed me, uh, carrying all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's amazing how much you can actually do with a bike. Nice courteous bus driver was going to stop for me which is not exactly the thing that should be happening. And there's a cyclist wheeling her cycle on the sidewalk. Much better. Hi there, how are you? Big event here at 
St. Paul's Hospital. All the kids with the face painting and everything. Thing that St. Paul's Hospital does. And the wonderful thing about being on a bike is you can just peel off and stop whenever you find something that interests you. I have something to tell you.